So here we are, we're at Golf National on the Albatross course, otherwise known as the 2018 Ryder Cup course. First hole, we're looking down, we've got around 220 to the water. There's a hazard running down the entire left side of the fairway into a green that looks a little bit uh, demanding from the tee. I've got a hybrid, go and take my shot, let's see what happens. That'll be all right. So we found our ball, a little bit push off the tee. We're in the rough here. It's early morning here, it's about nine o'clock. So the ground is a little bit wet. This rough gets a little bit thick and hard to hit through. It's not really the place you want to be. The ball is above your feet. The pin, obviously, if you go left of the pin and pull it, which is the bad shot from this, from this uh, lie, you're going to be in the water. Let's have a go, see what happens. Sit. Sit. Okay, so we're just on the right fringe on the green. We left it out to the right a little bit on that approach. We've got a slightly downhill putt here, breaking to the left. Let's try and cozy it up close. Get out of here with the par. Whoa, whoa. Hmm. Cozying up, cozying up close, not what happened. We're now struggling to make par. Get in. Oh, okay. So, bogey on the first, not ideal. Obviously a very poor putt from the fringe there. I think when the pros come here, there's not going to be that many birdies depending on how aggressive they are off the tee. Bogey, not a great start. Second hole now, tough. Let's take a look. So we're after a slightly scary opening hole, there's no letting up. Second hole, we're looking at about 162 actual yardage, slightly downhill, playing at about 158. You can obviously see there's a lot of water. I guess the safest shot is to aim a little bit to the right, try and draw it in. Let's see what happens. Go left a little bit. Thanks. So we've left ourselves with about 35 foot to the pin, hit it slightly right, which was the safer option. After the last hole, I'm not filled with confidence, but definitely take a par from here. Hmm. Quiet, please. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so one over after two. Definitely take that. So we've made it to the third tee. Two very tactical opening holes. It'll be really interesting to see how the big boys play that. And really, again, it is a bit of a risk and reward hole. Again, par five. You can try and bomb the driver, but you've got the water running down the right side. Left side, you've got a steep bank. We're going to go with driver, of course. Let's see how we do. So we've left ourselves with about 250 to the pin. We've got to sling it around to the right, so I'm just going to try and take a safe option and lay it up to about 100. Get left, get left. So you can see why going for the green in two is a bit of a risky option. We've got the tree just for the green, we've got a steep bunker in there, pin pushed on the right side. We've left ourselves with about 90 into it. I'm going to try and just 
throw a wedge up there, try and stop it somewhere near, give myself a birdie putt. So we've left ourselves a little tester again, another downhill putt. Let's try not to run it by too far this time. Hmm. Still going quite far fast. Okay, the par, take it. So it's a tough start at Golf National and it's not much easier for the finish either. We're on the 16th, we've got just over 130 yards into the flag. Water short and water right. Let's try and get it on. So as you can see with the pin at the back, it's tough to get the ball back there to stay. If you're a bit short as I was, you're gonna roll back down here. It's gonna need two decent putts. Well, hopefully one and a tap in. So we're on the 17th tee now. It's a pretty straightforward, well, straightforward-ish par four. No water. It's all about just trying to find the fairway. Fingers crossed. Get left. Nope. I'm gonna try and get anywhere on the green, or just near the green, really. Get a good contact, get in the fairway. Gonna have to try and get up and down from there. So we're short a bit here, left ourselves 50 to the pin. You can see it's a real slope coming out of the front of the green. So if you're short, you're gonna be coming back down. Get left. Mm. So you can see that when the pin is placed back here, it's not too bad. It's a fairly flat surface here to play up to, to play on. But if it's going to move you around the front edge, there's a ridge that goes across across the green, which is going to create some really tough putts. Let's see if we can get near the hole on this one. Escape with a bogey. Quite downhill this putt. not going to break that much. So now we're on the 18th hole. It's a really, really fantastic design. We've got water all, all the way down the left. We've got an island green at the end, at the end of it. A safe place to hit a three wood, but don't feel like it. I didn't come all the way to Paris to hit three wood. We're going to go with the driver, see if we can get on in two. chance. So that was a decent drive, we found ourselves in the light rough here on the right side of the fairway. We've got 155 yards left of the pin, water, well everywhere really. Not my favourite lie above my feet but I'm going to try and make good contact. Get it on, Let's see. Gotta go, go, go! 
Woo! Okay, we're on, just. So here we are on the 18th green where Europe will roll in the putt that wins the Ryder Cup next year. You can see behind us here, it slopes away, so you need to get it not too far from the pin if you want to have a look at Eagle. Get up. Go. So there we have it. Those are the key holes that are going to, that, well, that we think are going to decide the 2018 Ryder Cup. Make sure you comment on this video. Head to our social media channels on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And thanks for watching. If you get the chance to come out here to Paris to come and play this course, definitely take it. It's absolutely stunning. I'm going to have a great time, great hospitality, and of course, great food. Thanks for watching.